Hey guys, curious HVAC guy here again. So today what we're going to do is we are going to cut open this giant compressor and see what's on the inside. I will insert a screen cap of the data tag so you can get a little bit more information on it if you'd like. This compressor was condemned because it was making a lot of noise. It was still pumping, still maintaining temperature inside of a box, but it was making a lot of noise. So we highly recommended they replace it before it uh, seized up and, and caused more issues. So with that being said, let's cut it open. so bad all right so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna open this thing up see our valve head came off probably not picking it up on camera but we'll get a little bit better view of that you can see where it's it's 
been overheating for a while. All that oil is carbonized on the valve plates. Now we're going to pull our very heavy stator out. We got all, all metric on this one today. So everything is going to be in metric for it. Kind of show you guys what I'm looking at here. So this is inside of our compressor, the bottom side of our two pistons. They move nice and smooth. I'm not getting a whole lot of a whole lot of play in the bearing at all. I don't know if you can actually see in there, but there is there's a collar on the bottom of those pistons. It looks like. a little bit better view here. See right here. This is the end the end of our piston shaft, our cam shaft. Now I can hear a little bit, I don't know if it's gonna pick it up on camera, but I can hear a little bit of a grinding noise coming from the cylinders. Uh, Again, it could be because I've already done so much damage to it, just getting to this point, cutting it open, hitting it with sparks, taking this, uh, just this copper sleeve bearing out of the picture. Um, but if you look inside there, that bearing really doesn't have, it is copper plated, but I believe that's on purpose from the manufacturer. That's not copper plating caused by acid. Uh, some of these systems, if you get acid mixed around in the system, it'll actually pull the copper off of the inside of the copper piping and it'll deposit it in the motor, usually in the piston heads or the, the cylinders or sometimes in the bearing, but that I'm 99% sure is just copper plated from the manufacturer just to let it last longer. And if you noticed, I had to cut some of these bolts off because they don't want to, they don't want to come out on their own whatsoever. Now, I should have said this at the beginning of the video, but I assume if you're watching this, you have common sense. So make sure you're wearing PPE. Make sure you got eye protecting on, gloves, you know, long sleeve shirt for sparks and whatnot. But see, here's another side of our piston. And again, I'm just turning, I'm just turning the motor right here. This is our, uh, I forget the actual name of it, our, our rotor. Just turning that, watching our pistons go up and down, seeing if there's any real noise, see if I can get a good clear picture of those pistons, there we go. Yeah, see the pistons are moving nice and free. I mean, that's not to say there wasn't some sort of rattling going on when it was, when it was up to full speed, but I don't see anything really alarming at all on this. And there is a little bit of piston movement on these piston rings, a little bit back and forth. Since there is no set screw, I, I assume that was by design, so I'm not real sure what the deal is with that. I would also very much like to actually get these pistons right out of there, but it doesn't seem to be a good way to separate them. Yeah, the pistons look fine. I don't see any any internal damage. Well, I'm gonna chalk this one up too. I don't really know what caused the noises, but I guess it might have been something to do with it uh, with it overheating. Now, I'm gonna set that right there for a second. Now here. This is another compressor that I cut apart. Now this one, 
this one wouldn't pump at all. I had no compression ratio from high side to low side. And this one there is quite a bit of valve damage, so I like to keep this around just to show new guys, maybe just, just curious people. Kind of show them what a uh, badly damaged compressor actually looks like. And we'll show you here in just a second when I get this cap off. It's kind of falling apart there. See, now if you can see this, closer there. If you can see this, this is our reed and if my camera will focus, might be kind of hard to tell, but that reed is, is badly damaged. One of the one of the end holes where it actually is supposed to be riveted in place and pivot, it's just worn right out, whomped right out. It's just, just terrible. And actually in our valve head or our, our reed, I'm sure there's some more other uh, technical term for this, but I just call it a valve head because it sits right on top of the piston. Um, but if you look in the back side of this, you can really, really see the damage. All that metal. And then this would normally sit right inside of this, like so. And this would be, this side would be directly on top of your piston inside your compressor. And then this would open, close, open, close as it sucked and pushed compre uh, compressed refrigerant through it. But as you can tell, it is just severely worn. I mean, there's no way it's gonna, there's no way it's actually gonna compress anything with this being so worn out. And you can look inside here and look at this. This piston head is just damaged right here on the top. It's all chewed up on the side of the piston, inside the uh, the piston cavity here, the piston cylinder, it's all chewed up. So this one, this one was quite obvious why I was making noise and not pumping. The other one, not as sure. So you guys, now this is what you do on a weekend, we got nothing else to do and you're really, really curious about how compressors work or just want to see the insides maybe figure out why I was making so much noise like I did, cut it open. Alright guys, that's all for today. See you in the next one.